Okay guys, this is a second example of the applications of vector kind of problem uh, where we've got two, in this case it's two unmanned area, area vehicles approaching each other. Uh, and this is example 3.10 on page 38 in your OT Lee book. I just wanted to give you a slightly different way of doing it than they've done it. Uh, it's, it's very similar, but I just wanted to take you through it because this is one of those key application style problems. Okay, so... Um, and by the way, there is a mistake in here. It talks about at 800, oh, 800 hours and then 0900 hours. Those two times should be the same or it messes up the answer. So we're taking T as the time from 9 a.m. or 0900 hours. So we've got the equation of uh, vehicle A given as a line. And then now I've got the equation down here of vehicle B. Now notice that for vehicle B, we don't know the velocity vector. We know where it is to start with. That's this one here but we don't know the velocity vector. We do know all the information about A and where it's headed and where it is at the start. So the question says we need to determine the velocity of B for the interception to occur in the minimum time and where and when the interception occurs. Okay, so I know that um, the maximum speed of the second vehicle is 200 kilometers per hour. So that's really going to affect this part here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is say, let's look at the x coordinates for these two to intersect. That means negative 10 plus 200t, that's the x coordinates up here for vehicle A, has got to be the same as 50 plus at for the second vehicle. That's how I've got that equation. Now, if we rearrange that equation, look at the bottom line there, I've just got a on its own. So I've rearranged that to get A. Remember A is the X coordinate of the velocity or the, the direction really that um, B is going to head off to to intercept A. Now I've done that the same for the Y coordinate and the same for the Z coordinate. So just have a look at those and if you've got your book open you'll see how I've got those. So for example for the Z coordinates 0 0.1 plus 0.2t, that's the x of the z coordinate at any time for a, and for b we've got 0.7 plus c lots of t, that's the z coordinate at any time. Okay, so that's how I've got that last equation, then I've rearranged them. So I've got expressions for a, b, and c in terms of t. So I want to know, well, we know that the velocity of b is at maximum 200, so we're going to go as fast as possible. The velocity is given by that expression there. So now I've got expressions for a, b, and c. I just uh, substitute them in there and I get that expression there in blue. It's a pretty ugly one, but this is question is worth a lot of marks in the exam. So each of those parts there came from the thing that I just did up above. Now is where you get your calculator out and solve that using your calculator. Your calculator will tell you two things. It'll tell you that, uh, sorry, for this one here, it'll tell you one thing. It'll tell you the t, the value of t that makes that equal to zero is 0.75 or 1.5. So the minimum time here is 0.75, three quarters an hour, or 9.45 a.m. That's when they're going to intersect. Now, knowing that value of t allows us then to substitute in to what uh, b's position and velocity is going to be. So you can see I've done that now. I've substituted t equals 0.75 into this expression right here. So it's negative 60 over t plus 200 was the x part of b's speed. I'll just go back up here. Yep. There it is there. Negative 60 over t plus 200. That's a. So I just substituted in that for a, b, and c, and that gives me 120, 116 points, negative 0.6. That is the direction or the speed that B needs to go out to intercept A.